vegan side effect. Couldn't feel more guilt-free. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Explore the beautiful nature of Venezuela and experience the culture and the harmonious life between indigenous people and the environment. The Indigenous People of Venezuela, Guardians of the Land, Part 1 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. Wakupero Medato. This means, how are you? In the language spoken by the Pemon people in the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. My name is Carolina. Diverse Venezuela thanks you for praying for humanity and doing your part to rescue our world. Welcome to our program, the indigenous people of Venezuela, Guardians of the Land, Part 1 of 2. The Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela is located on the northern coast of South America, consisting of a mainland and many islands and islets in the Caribbean Sea. It is bordered by Colombia to the west, Guyana to the east, Brazil to the south, and the islands of Trinidad and Tobago to the northwest. Caracas is the capital and largest city of Venezuela which is the commercial and cultural center of the country, with Spanish being the official language of the region. Venezuela is an immigrant-based country, consisting of four main ethnic groups. Around 52% of its population are from the Mestizo, a group with a mix of European, Amerindian, and African ancestries. 42% are of a European descent, 4% are of an African descent, and 2% population are native Venezuelans. Coro and its port and Ciudad Universitaria de Caracas are famous examples of Venezuelan immigration culture heritage, which is also listed as World Cultural Heritage by UNESCO in 1993 and 2000 respectively. Indigenous cultures are an important cultural treasure and heritage in Venezuela's long history. The earliest settlers of ancient Venezuela are generally believed to be Siberians who crossed the Bering Strait, connecting Russia and Alaska during the last glacial period about 23,000 years ago. Though separated into different groups today, DNA research by Harvard Medical School revealed a common ancestry. Their ancestors moved into North America, and then later to Central and South America. Evidence shows that the earliest inhabitants of Northwest Venezuela traces back more than 15,000 years ago. This research also discovered that the Amazon tribe's forefathers are closer to the indigenous people of New Guinea, the Andaman Islands in Australia, than the natives in America. The agriculture system of indigenous Venezuelan was established as early as the first millennium. By the end of the 15th century, an estimated 300,000 to 400,000 indigenous people inhabited the current Venezuela region. Three larger cultures among them originated from three main linguistic families, Carib, Arawak, and Chipcha. The Carib tribes lived in the coastal area of the Atlantic Ocean in Venezuela, the inland mountain Sabana Plains, and the Amazon River areas. Various Arawak tribes were spread on the western plains along the Orinoco River. The Shipsha linguistic tribe, Timotecuica, was the most advanced society. They lived in the Andes and developed advanced agricultural techniques, including irrigation and terracing system. They also had skilled handcrafts, which can still be viewed in museums. 
the indigenous traditions experienced a period of serious decline from the 16th to 19th centuries. Today, there are 51 indigenous groups currently living in Venezuela, and 44 groups are officially recognized by the government. The largest groups include the Wayu, Pemon, Warao, Yanomami, and Cariña peoples. There are almost 70 languages or dialects which are still spoken, but many are gradually disappearing. The Yanomami people are the most remote who live in the deep Amazon, while many other groups are moving away to live in urban cities. The picturesque Canaima National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is home to the Pemon tribes. The Pemon means human being in their language. The park is unique in the world because of its geological features and the wide variety of ecosystems that range from sabana grasslands to tropical rainforests. Angel Falls is the world's tallest waterfall. La Gran Sabana in the park is the habitat of many South America's most famous and recognizable animals, such as the giant anteater, the giant armadillo, and the giant Amazon otter. The area has very steep mountains that look like large pillars soaring up to the clouds. The ancient belief of the Pemon people is Canaima and they worship spirits that are related to shamanism, according to research from anthropology and ethnomusicology scholar Dr. Matthias Louis. The Pemon people teach their children through the oral telling of stories, and bilingual education at schools has been provided since 1979. The first dictionary of Pemón was published in 1943 by Father Cesario de Armellada, who also compiled their legends in his books, such as The Cocuyo and The Blackberry, A Tale of the Pemón Tribe, and The Tiger and the Crab, Cuento de la Tribu Pemón. Wise viewers, let's now pause for a moment to hear a brief message. We'll return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Vegan side effect, too many, all good. Welcome back to our show, Profiling the Indigenous Culture in Venezuela. The Pemon's houses are huts with walls made of clay or bark, and roofs made of palm leaves. Hammocks are hung from the beams of the roof, and the fire is kept at one or two corners of the house. Arrows and tools are collected at a corner, while baskets, carrying sacks, and pumpkins hang on the walls. Their handcrafts include clay bowls, basketry, eating mats, and strainers as daily household products and tools. Their hammocks and baby carriers are made from weaving. The Pemon people also have their own techniques to make wooden dugouts, bark canoes, paddles, and bows. Besides collecting the food from the wilderness, Pemon men prepare the soil for planting, and the women garden, harvest, and transport crops. Yuca, manioc root, or cassava, aurosa, or a spinach-like vegetables, peppers, potatoes, pineapple, plantain, sugarcane, and other varieties of bananas are part of their main diet. In the past, Pemon women wore aprons made of cotton or beads, and men wore loincloths made of bright red cloth. From 1945 onwards, their clothes became more westernized. Facial tattoos, along with bands of cotton cloth or glass beads worn around arms and legs, are some common Pemon fashion. 
Music and dance, which used to be performed by shaman and their assistants, are still important in public festivals and rituals. The documentary film Pemon Culture, The Fire That Should Not Be Shut Down, features the tribe's sustainable solutions to conserve and protect their homeland against fire hazards. They integrate passed down rituals into modernized and safer fire practices. Pemon's living area, the Gran Sabana, with its gorgeous sceneries, has become a tourist attraction place and provides the main source of income for the locals. It is also rich in natural resources, which attracts business investors to buy the land for mining. Mining is the fastest and easiest way to make money, but they understand that line of business is also very harmful to their ecosystems. For the last three years, while the economy and tourism have been slow, the Pemon people in the Kavanayen village have resisted lucrative offers from the mining industry and have returned to a more environmentally responsible way of living with traditional farming. As a result of this wise choice, while other nearby villages have become deserted, their tribe flourishes. By clearing a small forest area, they grow crops and native foods such as yuca or cassava. The root of yuca can be used to make beverages and food for the community. The exemplary actions of the Pemon people in Cavanayen village was caught on camera by photographer Federico Cabrera in 2020, when he was touring the country on bicycle. He reported what he saw and made it a headline with BBC News. The traditional farming fosters teamwork in families and the community. By working together, they also reduce their carbon footprint on the planet. This keeps their spirits and optimism high, even through difficult times. Y que... El día de mañana eh, va a ser mucho mejor y para ellos también, pues para el futuro de, los, de, de nuestros hijos, es tener esto aquí, pues esto es lo más, más preciado que tenemos. No pueden ofrecer mil eh, toneladas de oro para sacar lo que tienen en nuestra zona, pero eso es algo temporal. ¿Qué queda para nuestros hijos? Nosotros decimos que es para nosotros aquí, para mi familia, siempre hemos tenido de que esta es nuestra mina, pues el sitio donde estamos ubicados y no perdemos las esperanzas de que esto va a mejorar. Pemón has shown a true environmentally sensible lifestyle and sets an outstanding example to the rest of the world. We hope everyone will have similar foresight in protecting our valuable planet and preserving the land for us and future generations. Saintly viewers, we hope you have enjoyed our program today, The Indigenous People of Venezuela, Guardians of the Land, Part 1 of 2. Please return next Wednesday, August 4th, for Part 2. Up next is Shining World Compassion Award recipient Free the Bears, Courage to End Animal Cruelty, right after Noteworthy News. May your love and action continue to inspire others to do the same in God's overflowing goodness. Vegan Side Effect Feeling in Control for the First Time Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash CTAW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique CTAW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada CTAW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Prosimy zobaczyć suprememastertv.com ukośnik schedule oraz suprememastertv.com ukośnik ctaw.